So guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund Career Mode and in this episode we have four games as usual and they're actually pretty big games. We have a game against Red Bull Leipzig which is uh, gonna be a fun game because we always score a lot of goals against them and they are top five this season somehow. And we have uh, the second game against uh, Galact uh, or Galactus Sorry in the Champions League group stage. We are gonna be away from home there. And then we have a game against... Uh, FSV Mines and another game against Hertha Berlin. So the Mines game is probably going to be simulated and the the other ones is going to be played. So hopefully we can pick, pick up a big win against Red Bull Leipzig. We always do that. And we're going to do it with the strongest team possible. But I don't know if playing Aubameyang is a good thing to do right now. Like Sure, he, is, he has really good stats, but he's not performing well. But Guerrero is actually not going to play Rodriguez. But I'm gonna give him one last chance. If he's not performing in this game, I'm moving him to the backup team and moving Boney up to the first team because something needs to change with him. And a player that always have a great game against Red Bull Leipzig when we are playing against them is Sami Kedira. He either he picks up a lot of goals or a lot of assists. Uh, the last time or the first game he played against them, he actually picked up I think it was three goals and two assists or something. Oh. Yes! What the hell was that? That's 1-0! What the hell are they doing? I was just... I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go in for a tackle. And he tried to clear it. And he clears it right on me. Look at this goal. He has no way to go there. And I'm just tackling the ball in. Mark Bartra, 1-0. And you're probably wondering how the hell that happened. And so am I. What the fuck was that? Boom, Usmane, he's gonna make this, he's gonna score. Usmane, yep, beautiful finish, 2-0, and now it has begun. 53rd minute, 2-0, I'm gonna guarantee at least four goals. Beautiful pass there to uh, Usmane Dembella, and look at this finish. Boom, top bin. Aubameyang, in the last season, should have, or could have done that easily, but in this season, nope. And Kedera, that's one more, come on, Sammy Kedera, assisted by Obama Yang. That's three, I promised you four, at least four. Beautiful goal by Kedera there, come on. I promised you four goals, and nine minutes to score four goals, or four goals, one goal. Who's Mane? Dembele, yes, that's four. That's four, Dembele scores a goal. That's four, in the ninth minute as well, I promised you four goals. And I delivered four goals. Then Bele with another goal. I should have taken a shot with Aubameyang. I shouldn't have passed that. But beautiful. Uh, not a beautiful goal. But a goal by Den Bele. He's second in the Bundesliga. So he scored his two first goals for the season in this game. Decent stuff. 4-0 against uh, Red Bull Leipzig away from home. And there goes the final whistle. I promised you four goals. I delivered four goals. A 4-0 victory against the Red Bull Leipzig. I don't know what it is against this team, but as soon as I play against Red Bull Leipzig, I score at least four goals against them. They had six shots, three on target. We had 11 shots, eight on target. And man of the match probably going to go to, yeah, Osmani Dembele, who picks up a 9.5 with two goals. Aubameyang, decent stuff with 9.5 as well, and a few assists. I think he picked up one or two. Dembele with two goals, Kedeva with one, and Mark Bartra with one. Aubameyang picks up two assists. Niklas Sule picks up one, and Rodriguez picks up one. But this doesn't mean that Aubameyang is going to start in the next game. So guys, the second game of this episode is going to be home game against Galactasari. And as you can see, we are on seven points. Galactasari drew, drew their game, so they are on four points, as well as United. So if we beat them here, and United beat Roma, they will pass uh, and get up to that second spot. And I'm tempting to give the win to them, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to start uh, the backup team in this game because, as you can see, they're pretty tired. So we have to play the backup team. Wilfred Boney is going to make a Champions League debut for this team. I think I don't think I played him in the first game. Might have done that, though. I don't know. But let's jump into this game against Galactasari and hopefully get another win against them. Hopefully more than just one goal this time. And Castro. Castro, this is a goal. Yep, 1-0. Castro, come on. Gonzalo Castro, assisted by Sebastian Rode. Rode and Castro are doing really well in the midfield together. 
1-0 beautiful finish by Castro. He's doing a lot better than I expected for this season. He didn't play well in in the first season, so I barely played him. But in this season he's been getting more starting uh, more starters and actually performing really well. Don't get injured. Not always injured. Boom. Go Castro. You have pace. You have a lot of it. Send Boney. Boney Pony. Boney Pony. 2-0. Yes, Boney Pony. Another goal and the dance moves from him. Assisted again by Castro. Beautiful stuff. That's his third goal in three games by uh, Boney. He's doing. He's just doing better and better for every single game. Castro. He's too tired, Castro. And there goes the final whistle. We pick up a 2-0 victory. And decent stuff, actually. We 2-0 victory. Three goals in total against these guys. Maybe could have played a little bit better, but we get three points, and that's all that matters. So three huge points against the Galactosauri. One for Boney and Castro with a goal each. Pretty decent stuff. And they had one shot, one on target. Like, that's just... That's just bad by them. Uh, Castro gets the man of the match with a 9.4. Boney, 8.7. Emmer Moore, actually a deserved as well, only gets a 7.1. Uh, assist goes to Castro and Sebastian Rode. And two, or two, three new points. Alright guys, I have uh, some bad news. Sven Bender, who hasn't been getting any playing time, to be honest. Like, I understand why he wants to leave, but... He wants to leave in the next transfer window. He's not, he's not being selected, even though he is being selected in the second team. Uh, Rennie Kadena is uh, thankful for the playing time right now, and uh, the same with Paslak. And one that's not really happy about his wage wages, though, is Niklas Sule. He wants high wages, so I'm probably gonna get him that. But now we have a game against F FSV Mines, and we are the top. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, we are the top of the league table, or we are the top of the league table, we are, we were top of the league uh, uh, recently, We, but now Bayern Munich and Stuttgart has played a game more than us, so if we pick up a win here against the uh, FSB Mines, which is going to be simulated by the backup team again, uh, we will pass them and get up to that first spot, so it's, it's a pretty important game simulating it is a bit is a bit of a risk but i think we can manage to pick up no shit we pick up only a draw sebastian Rodi gets a red card after 25 minutes Ooh, emir moore with another goal somehow he score he keeps scoring goals when i'm simulating but he's not scoring goals when i'm playing with him and royce with a goal uh, cordoba and jaira with a goal for fsv mines which means we are dropping points even more and that is not good. We are now on the same points as, as uh, Stuttgart and Bayern Munich and only two points behind uh, Frankfurt. So guys, the last game of this episode is going to be an away game against Hertha Berlin and I'm going to give Piszczek uh, some playing time now as well. And we're going to give Aubameyang one last time for redemption. Like, if he doesn't perform well in this game... He's probably going to be uh, sent to the second team. And we're going to play Bastian Schweinsteiger over Sammy Kedera in this game. Because I want to bring that legend some playing time. So hopefully we'll be able to pick up three points against Hertha Berlin. Let's jump into this game. And yeah, three points. Three points. Uh, three points is a must here, to be honest. Marco. Royce. 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 What the hell is going on? That's 1-0. And it's... Schweinsteiger with a goal, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Royce just walked in, just walked into the penalty box here, look at this, he just walks in, past it, Dembele tried to take a shot, but the goalkeeper punches the ball in, or out, right to Schweinsteiger, who can bang that in an open net, that's 1-0 right away, holy shit, pass and touch and goal, yes, Lucas Piszczek, beautiful free kick, Lucas Piszczek makes us go 2-0 up, and I love that free kick variant. Like, you just pass it, Royce assisted there, Piszczek takes a touch, and bang. 2-0, come on. Bastian Schweinsteiger and Lucas Piszczek, two players that I put into this team 
into this game. Like they didn't, they didn't play the last game. They played only this game. And there goes the final whistle and the final game of the episode. We pick up a 2-0 victory. Bastian Schweinsteiger and Lucas Piszczek with a goal each. We scored a goal on a beautiful free kick as well. We passed it to Lucas Piszczek who banged it right away. 2-0 victory and as you see Hertha Berlin didn't have a single shot on target. Like my defense is really good right now. The offensive is pretty decent, but we are picking up wins. Sebastian Schweinsteiger gets the man of the match with an 8.9. Uh, he and Pushchek a goal each. Assists for Dembele and Royce. And uh, again, not that good a game of uh, or from Aubameyang with only a 7.8. He can do a bit better in my opinion. Alright guys, we're going to end this episode here. We are... Uh, actually gonna start the next episode with a game against Manchester United in the Champions League group stages, group stages and as you can see we are pretty much already clear of going through with 10 points 6 points down to Galactasari, United and Roma but yeah that, that's gonna be in the next episode hopefully you've enjoyed this episode smash a like if you have and if you're new to my channel as well uh, hit that subscribe button if you want content daily I upload daily so Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later with another video.